Dude, are you alright? Yeah, but I'm all covered in dirt. I hear there's arsenic and lead in that dirt. Isn't that dangerous? Arsenic is poisonous, right? And lead isn't that great either, you know, like lead paint and stuff. Yeah, but I think you'll be alright as long as you get it washed off. This, this is, is an, an official, official dirt, dirt alert! alert. It all began on the shores of Commencement Bay in Ruston, Washington. In 1890, the Tacoma smelter started as a lead smelting plant. In the early 1900s, it was purchased by the American Smelting and Refining Company, also known as a Sarco. In 1912, the plant was converted to copper smelting. Now, during the smelting process, smoke from the 565-foot smokestack sent arsenic and lead airborne. For nearly a hundred years, this facility operated with those contaminants drifting with the winds and settling to the ground over a 1,000 square mile area. Since the arsenic and lead chemically bonded with the soil, they can still be found in soil today around King, Pierce, and Thurston counties. Neighborhoods affected include areas as far north as West Seattle and south through Tacoma, University Place, Fort Lewis, DuPont, and into the northeast tip of Thurston County. So as you can see, the contamination covered a wide area. So we do live on contaminated dirt? Well, yes, sort of. The soil in our yards may have arsenic and lead, which can be a health hazard. But people need to know there are things they can do to keep themselves safe. That's sort of what we're dealing with here. There aren't any immediate health risks associated with the levels of arsenic and lead we see in the soil, but it's important to know that the contamination is there so that we can guard against it. Okay, so there's nothing to worry about. Well, not exactly. We have warnings on lead and arsenic for a reason. Over a period of time, constant contact with even a small amount of arsenic and lead can cause significant health issues. Keep in mind it's not physical contact with the soil that's particularly harmful. It's breathing in or eating soil and dust which causes the concern. <laughs> so don't eat dirt. True. Yes, but contamination can occur if someone accidentally eats or breathes in too much dust or dirt. Children, gardeners, construction workers, and landscapers may be at the greatest risk because they frequently work or play in the soil. So what happens if you get too much of this stuff in your body? It takes time, but arsenic and lead can cause serious health issues. We're talking about different kinds of cancers, heart disease, memory and nervous system issues, and other medical problems. Children are especially at risk to the effects of arsenic and lead poisoning. That doesn't sound good. Could be bad, but so can the sun's rays. To prevent skin damage, you put on sunscreen, right? Well, in this case, as long as you take some precautions, you can reduce the risks a lot. It all comes down to keeping things clean. If something comes in contact with the dirt, clean it up. Make sure you vacuum and dust regularly. Don't track dirt through the house and give your pets a bath on a regular basis. Oh, I see. It's okay to work and play in the yard, just as long as we get cleaned up right away. Yeah, just think of the ways we get dirty, like the wipeout I did on my board. Dirt gets dropped into our homes from shoes, pets, and even toys. It gets on our hands and clothes when working outside. It's on the vegetables from our garden and in the dust in our homes. That's pretty much it. Come up with a simple plan to keep things clean, follow up on it, and you shouldn't have much to worry about. It's actually pretty simple. The things we can do to minimize our contact with dirt? First, leave your shoes at the door. Dirt and dust can easily get tracked into your house and get on upholstery, carpets, and furniture. By leaving your shoes at the door, less dirt and dust will be tracked into your home. Dust, mop, and vacuum at least once a week. That will help reduce some of the dirt that does get past our front doors and into our homes. And when you dust, use a damp cloth or mop. This will help prevent dust from getting airborne. If you have really dirty clothes, wash them separately from other laundry. Use plenty of soap and water. Make sure you wash your hands before eating and don't forget to wash your children's toys, beddings, and pacifiers. My brother's stuff gets really gross. Cover bare patches of dirt with grass, gravel, or mulch. It will reduce your contact with the soil. Dust and dirt can be found on fruits and vegetables, so give them a good wash. Use a scrub brush to make sure all dirt is removed. Keep your pets clean, brush and bathe them often. Pets walk, roll, and lie in dirt, which can be tracked into your home. Make sure your pets have their own bedding and keep them off the beds and furniture you use. And finally, 
eat healthy. Foods high in iron and calcium are good for you and can protect your body against lead. So no more complaining about eating that broccoli and spinach. And remember, even small changes can benefit your family. Just remember to wash with soap and water. Leave your shoes at the door. Mop, dust, and vacuum. Cover bare patches of ground. Keep your pets clean. And eat a healthy diet. These healthy actions are just a few simple ways you and your family can reduce your contact with harmful dirt. For more information, visit tpchd.org slash dirt alert. Or contact your local health department. Dirt Alert is brought to you by the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department. Dirt, dirt Alert! alert!